Jacksonville, Florida, the good, the bad, and the beautiful. Find out the top 10 reasons why people are flocking to live here and also some downsides that you might need to be aware of. I'm Justin Augustine, and I'm a local realtor here in the city of Jacksonville, Florida. I was born and raised in Duval County, and I've been able to witness the crazy development and transformation this city has undergone over the decades. Now, this video is going to cover 10 pros and 10 cons of living here in Jacksonville, Florida. If you find this video helpful in any way, tap that subscribe button below, hit the notification bell so you can get updated when my new videos drop. All links to any of the resources we'll be discussing will also be in the description box below, so let's get into it. What are 10 pros of living here in Jacksonville, Florida? The weather here in Jacksonville, Florida is undeniably one of its most enticing features. Drawing residents from all over the United States, I feel like Florida is the reason why the term snowbird exists. The weather here makes it a great place for a year-round enjoyment of outdoor activities. We pretty much have just two seasons here, summer and winter. We stay warm for pretty much nine to 10 months out of the year, where only a few months will we sometimes sit below freezing, but even then the temperature in the winter months averages in the 60s. Oh, and one more thing, there's no snow here. If you are looking to get into some activities, Jacksonville always has something going on. You might be surprised by just how many events are happening in town on the regular. If you want to see what's up and coming, a great resource is 904 Happy Hour on Instagram. Or head on over to their website to see the latest scoop on events and activities in the city. Link will be in the description box below. I almost feel like Jacksonville is one big suburb. And with that being said, there's a lot of land allocated to parks and recreation. Jacksonville boasts the largest urban park system in the nation with more than 80,000 acres of parks, including three national parks, seven state parks, and more than 400 city parks, plus dozens of unique gardens and an arboretum. If you want to learn more about all of the parks here in Jacksonville, Florida, check the description box below. I'll leave a link to a website that categorizes and lists all of the parks. Great weather and beaches go hand in hand here in Florida. Living in Jacksonville may turn you into a regular beachgoer. Your top public beaches are going to be Jack's Beach, Atlantic Beach, and Neptune Beach. However, if you're looking to camp with the family at the beach, Huguenot Park and Hannah Park are both great options for that. You can actually drive your car onto the beach at Huguenot Park, so that's pretty cool. Jacksonville is home to robust industries such as healthcare, finance, and transportation and logistics. Now, these industries fuel our local economy and represent a large chunk of our workforce. Mayo Clinic is the number one ranked hospital in Florida, according to the U.S. News and World Report. We have financial services like FIS that are on the Fortune 500 list every single year. And Jacksonville is a major logistics and distribution hub that transports goods to all over the Southeast. Safe to say that these industries help keep our local economy strong. Jacksonville is a prime location to travel to other states by car. Being located in the northeasternmost part of the state gives us a quicker access route when traveling by car to other states and cities. We're right on the Florida and Georgia border, so traveling to places like, I don't know, Savannah or Blue Ridge or Charleston, South Carolina, you're going to be able to make those drives more comfortably than you would being further south in the panhandle. Also, Orlando is just a two-hour drive away from here, and Tampa is a three-hour drive. Florida is number one in the country when it comes to the amount of golf courses it has. Jacksonville is no different in this regard. We have more golf courses than gas stations. Well, not really, but we do have a lot. There's TPC Sawgrass in Ponte Vedra, which is a five-minute drive south of Jack's Beach. So if you're an avid golfer, you would fit right in here with us here in Jacksonville. And if you suck at golf like me, then, you know, we have Top Golf. so there's that. Now, we mentioned how awesome our beaches are, but don't let that shadow just how amazing the St. John's River and the Intracoastal Waterway are as well. This opens doors to a whole new lifestyle of fishing and boating. You can boat over to a Jags game, check out the fishing scene in Mayport, kayak down the Intracoastal. Pretty much any and every single water activity can be done here. Jacksonville is home to some of the top magnet and preparatory high schools here in Florida. So if you have a teenager looking to get into college, schools like Stanton College Prep, Paxson, Darnell Cookman, and Douglas Anderson can really boost their college readiness. And the great thing is, is that they are all magnet schools, so you can apply and get in, irregardless of what school you're actually zoned for. We love our troops here in Jacksonville. It's 
home to two naval bases, NAS Jax and Mayport. Military families make up a large chunk of our residents here, and the bases help boost population growth here in the city. With that comes another large slice of local economic stimulation and stability. Our military families get stationed here and participate in the local economy by buying goods and services and also purchasing homes, which provides Jacksonville with a forever revolving door of economic growth. If any of these pros have provided you with insight of what it's like living here in Jacksonville, Florida, and you're thinking about moving to the area, give me a call. I'd be more than happy to help you find your next home here in Jacksonville. But let's get back into it. Now we're talking about the cons. Jacksonville being the largest city land-wise may be a pro because there's no shortage of different areas and neighborhoods that you can actually stay in. However, it can also be a con. Being the largest city land-wise could mean longer commutes. For instance, if you work in the south side of town but live in the west side, the commute can be up to like 45 minutes depending on the traffic. With the growing population of Jacksonville, the city is constantly under construction. It's kind of like a running meme right now for residents that anywhere you go, you're going to see construction here in Jax. Whether it's road widening or adding new lanes on the highway, there's road construction everywhere, making commutes longer than usual. Public transportation is not as easily accessible like in many other cities here in America. While we do have the JTA bus system, stops and running times are very limited. The main mode of transportation here is by car. And if you need to ride share anywhere, that's going to cost you a pretty penny since Jacksonville, again, is so large in land. We don't really have a bustling downtown here. Although our downtown is growing, and developing. It's far from a bustling metropolis like you'll find in many of the other major cities in the United States. A main reason for this is the lack of significant residential appeal in the downtown area. City life isn't really a huge priority for residents here in Jacksonville, and thus our downtown reflects the bigger appeal for people to live in the suburbs here in the city. If you're headed downtown or to the beaches, parking can be a nightmare. The city already had limited free parking. However, with the addition of pay to park, it's, it's a rare find. On the weekends, it can be especially tedious to find public parking at the beaches. Rental prices across the board have increased since the pandemic here in Jacksonville. For example, right now, a one-bedroom, one-bath, 700-square-foot apartment on the south side of town will run you almost $1,600 a month. Now, that may not sound too bad compared to many of the other major cities in the U.S., but considering that the same apartment rented out for about ten fifty three three years ago, that's a pretty significant and major increase. Now, we talked about how great the weather is here, but we can flip that coin right on the other side and talk about how that can be a negative. Florida's known for its warm and sunny weather, but that means hot and humid weather starting as early as spring and sometimes not letting down until mid-fall. So that means we don't have four seasons. So if you're someone who can't stand the heat, then the city... It's probably not going to be for you. <laughs> Late November to February are our cooler months with lows in the 40s and highs in the 70s. So if you can tough it out through the rest of the year, it's not so bad. Compared to a lot of our neighboring cities here in Florida, Jacksonville is lacking in cultural diversity. We do have many ethnic communities here, and you can pretty much find any type of cuisine that you can hope for. But it does feign in comparison to other major cities here in Florida like Orlando, Miami, and Tampa. Now here's a big one. If you live in Florida, you're going to have to get used to living with the yearly threat of hurricanes. For the most part, Jacksonville lies in a geographical spot that typically tends to avoid most of the damage from major hurricanes. However, we do have some storm surges from time to time um, where the St. Johns River and the Atlantic Ocean will pour over into the land. This may cause flooding in many areas bordering the St. Johns River and the Intracoastal and the beaches. Another big thing is because of that, you can expect higher homeowners insurance premiums here. That's going to wrap up our top 10 pros and cons of moving here to Jacksonville, Florida. Let me know in the comments down below if you're considering moving here to Jacksonville or what a potential deal breaker would be for you.